What you say, pretty girl? I'm gonna get that squirrel. <coughs> she is so frustrated. <laughs> It's probably going to be a couple days before I put them back up on the grooming table to finish their head and feet and, you know, polish it up a little bit. I'm just, my body, I can't do it right now. My back is killing me. I just hurt from head to toe doing those two dogs back to back like that. So, you know, I'll get them done. I, I, the main thing was to get all that crap off their body. Just get the hair off, period. Adios, Palo. Don't need ya. girlfriend <coughs> Lord have mercy that's a lot of dog hair back there behind <coughs> Jasper <laughs> it looks like an animal exploded over there <laughs> that's funny that's what it always used to look like grooming horses too and you know dogs in the grooming shop for years it's just like something exploded <laughs> when they get a rake and all that up. I just hadn't had the chance to do it. I'm too dang sore today, I can hardly move. <laughs> oh, no, and I'm really pleased. They're both in really good weight. I thought he was, I mean, he could probably, you know, lose. I don't know, I could probably get six or seven pounds off of him at his age. It wouldn't be a bad thing. If I can, I will. And the more, act you know, the more active he is out here, that helps too. They're always in better condition this time of year than in the summer. It's just too hot here in Texas. They just lay in the house and, you know, get fat and lazy in the summer. It's just too hot to be outside for any length of time at all. That's it, Maya. You tear that cardboard up. I know that looks terrible, but it's better than mud. So I'm, um, I've got more to put on top of that. I'm kind of trying to build that up a little bit with cardboard. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to build a little wooden, a couple of little wooden decks there. Because winter in Texas is wet. And I don't want to deal with mud all winter long in a motorhome. So there is method to the madness. And that'll all decompose too. Actually, that makes really good compost. I always lay that down in all my raised beds anywhere I'm planting food. And put several layers of... Well, not so, about like that. You know, that's probably three or four layers deep if it were all neatly stacked, but it's, you know, it's not, obviously. So, and then I put um, a couple of big, thick layers, a couple, two or three inches of newspaper on top of it because that attracts um, earthworms. They love to eat the newsprint and um, have for, you know, eons. So, and then I throw in all my dirt and compost and daily stuff out of the kitchen and away we go but now i'm doing it because i want to cover up this mud hole and to prevent her from digging right there and then i can put down some little wood decks over it it'll be good papaya papaya yeah you just tell that squirrel 
But don't hate the strike in the process. <laughs> Once you get a drink of water and go lay in the shade. <coughs> Maya's like, why don't you bite me? I'm working. I'm getting a squirrel. Girlie, you better cool down. Here, why don't you have some ice? Oh, that whole dang thing's frozen. What the heck? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the hammer. Here, girlfriend. Nice try, Mom. Squirrel's still in the tree. <laughs> That's my refrigerator. <laughs> That's funny. I just can't believe how sore and beat up I am after Rum and Jasper and then Maya. I, I can't believe I used to do 16, 17 dogs a day for like 10 years. 20, 15 years, you know, a long time. And as I got older, when I was about in my mid-40s probably, I, I dropped back to like 10 to 12 dogs a day. And I did that. Uh, pretty much until I had to quit working in September 2018 to take care of Brent. So, maybe I probably did about 9 or 10 at the vet clinic. I don't think I did 12 there. Maybe I did. Some days I did 12 and 13. But in, I would say an average was probably 8 to 10 a day. Man, that was a great vet clinic. Shout out to Animal Hospital of Salina. Miss you guys. Love you guys. Had a great time working there. One of my all-time favorite, bestest places ever to work. <coughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I just stepped on one of your toys, child. Go lay down and rest, Maya. You're too hot. 